incredibly cold. Uh, as cold as it was at the peak of the Ice Age more than 20,000 years ago. In a world where history and mystery collide, one man's quest for ancient truths has led him down a rabbit hole of enigma and intrigue. A renowned author and explorer, Graham Hancock, has spent decades unearthing secrets that challenge the very foundation of conventional history. From the pyramids of Egypt to the lost cities of the Amazon rainforest, his tireless pursuit has unveiled astonishing revelations that some would prefer remain buried. Could there be new discoveries that Graham Hancock discovered that are different from the past? Join us as we venture into forbidden archeological sites, decode encrypted messages, and unveil the mysteries of some of the craziest conspiracy theories by Graham Hancock. Number 10. Hancock's Exploration of Atlantis Hancock's deep dive into the mysteries of Atlantis stirs up an insatiable appetite for knowledge. The spark of curiosity he ignites has set ablaze a string of debates that echo across the intellectual landscape. It's not merely an exploration, it's a profound challenge to the accepted confines of historical comprehension. With a daring pen, Hancock dares us to step beyond the edges of what we thought we knew. His voyage shakes the very foundations of established chronicles, beckoning us to question the linear passage of human history. But it's the fabric of his captivating Atlantis theory that truly captivates our imagination. In Hancock's hands, the past is no longer a dusty relic, but a hidden treasure trove of ancient myths and legends. These stories, long held as mere fables, now shine with a deeper meaning, like hidden stars waiting to be connected. The air is thick with the anticipation of an age-old truth, buried beneath layers of time, waiting to be unveiled. Yet, Hancock's expedition doesn't halt at the edge of history. Like a cosmic pioneer, he steers us into the boundless expanse beyond our earthly sphere. A mental odyssey that leads us to consider the tantalizing idea that extraterrestrial entities might have shaped the destiny of our ancestors. His thought-provoking queries on the exploration of Atlantis particularly resonate like universal ripples through the annals of time. He's often investigated how we can rationalize the seemingly miraculous technological strides achieved by these ancient societies in our modern age. As if by some otherworldly intervention, they leapt across the earth of what should have been possible in their eras. Number 9. Mysterious Tale of the Lost City of Atlantis Hancock, in another of his intriguing finds, found his inspiration in the musings of ancient philosophers. With his shovel of archaeological clues and his quill of curiosity, Hancock concocted a bold narrative about Atlantis. In this tale, he endeavors to unveil its hidden existence, trace its secret location, and uncover its ultimate destiny. This is no ordinary tale. It's a daring expedition into the realm of myths turned into reality. Tracing the origins of this enigmatic city back to the days of ancient Greece. According to Plato, the philosopher with a penchant for weaving intricate stories. In his poetic prose, he painted Atlantis as a society ahead of its time, a civilization that vanished into thin air nearly nine millennia ago. But according to Hancock's groundbreaking book, Fingerprints of the Gods, he weaves a mesmerizing theory that Atlantis wasn't a mere figment of imagination, but a tangible reality tucked away in the embrace of Antarctica. The once lush expanse transformed into a frozen tableau veiled by sheets of ice. On this map, the icy shroud covering the northern reaches of Antarctica is absent, a detail only confirmed by recent scientific explorations. Hancock, with conviction in his heart, believes this map speaks of a knowledge far beyond its time, a knowledge born in the heart of Atlantis. Here's where things get intriguing. Hancock, like a master weaver, entwines the threads of Atlantean lore with the tapestries of ancient cultures from across the globe. However, as with all bold tales, skepticism and debate thrive. Hancock's theory dances on the edge of acceptance within scholarly circles. Yet amid the skepticism, his tale lingers like a whisper, inviting us to ponder the unexplored corridors of history and the tantalizing possibility that Atlantis, 
a frozen city beneath Antarctic ice, might have once woven its legacy through the threads of time. Number 8. Remains of a Colossal Lake In times long past, a colossal lake once existed in the Western Sahara, hidden deep within layers of sand. Unlike the barren dunes that dominate the landscape today, this region was once home to expansive bodies of water. Scientific exploration has brought forth evidence that supports this remarkable history. In those ancient days, the Nile River coursed into a place known as Wadi Tushka in Egypt. And during this era, the Sahara lay beneath an immense flood. The lake's vast expanse stretched across more than 42,000 square miles, ranking it as the second largest notably. This body of water lay roughly 250 miles from where the Nile's waters flow today. Upon the sands of the Sahara, hidden beneath the surface, ancient fish fossils have been discovered by dedicated scientists. These findings are a testament to the incredible reach of the colossal mega lake that once blanketed this region. Remarkably, this vast area also yielded evidence of human presence, including the remains of our ancient ancestors. This immense lake played a pivotal role in the journeys of our forebears as they traversed the arid desert. Imagine the significance of having a vast oasis-like refuge where weary travelers could find respite along abundant shores. This expansive water body likely served as a vital rest stop for those venturing beyond Africa. Without it, the daunting challenges of crossing the Sinai Peninsula and reaching the Middle East might have deterred their progress. The impact of this mega lake extended far beyond human history. Its presence facilitated the movement of people beyond the Sahara enabling their spread across the globe. In a broader sense, this colossal lake could have even exerted a positive influence on the Earth's environment. Number 7. The Rishat Structures These fascinating structures known as the Rishat Structures feature concentric rings, resembling the descriptions made by Plato. However, this alignment only applies to the ring patterns, a resemblance frequently found in nature. Natural processes like impact craters can lead to concentric formations. However, what's truly interesting about this historic monument is that it isn't an impact crater. Instead, it's the result of erosion on Earth's surface. This natural structure doesn't contradict the idea of Atlantis existing. Some suggest that the Atlanteans might not have built the Rishat structure, but rather integrated their city within its natural contours. Plato also mentioned a canal connecting the rings of Atlantis, yet no such canal is visible in the Rishat structure. Although the Rishat structure's size may match Plato's description of 14 miles, determining its outermost edge proves challenging. Interestingly, in contrast, NASA's measurements indicate the structure is 28 miles long, 14 miles shorter than Plato's description. Evidence shows that the Sahara Desert formed millions of years ago, and there's no proof that this region in Western Africa was underwater just thousands of years ago. However, it was once lush with grasslands, forests, lakes, and rivers. Plato's depiction of an advanced city doesn't find support in archaeological evidence within the Rikat structure. No remains of a city, artifacts, or Atlantean technology from 12,000 years ago have been discovered. These artifacts were used by early humans, including Homo erectus, as far back as 1.78 million years ago. Within the inner depressions of the structure, man-made artifacts are generally absent. This absence suggests that the Rishat structure might have primarily served for short-term hunting and tool production. To uncover more, extensive research and excavation efforts within the Rishat structure are necessary. Hancock's ideas as present in his long-standing books criticize mainstream academia for dismissing his views. While archaeologists don't dislike Hancock, they strongly disagree due to the lack of solid evidence supporting his claims. Regarding Atlantis's possible location, many experts lean toward the theory presented. Number 6. The Realm of Biblical Relics The Ark of the Covenant has been at the very center of biblical relics for ages. The legendary artifact, as portrayed in the Bible, safeguards the sacred inscriptions etched with the Ten Commandments. Yet, the biblical tale recounts the Ark's loss after the Babylonian invasion of Jerusalem in 587 BC. Hancock, ever the unconventional thinker, weaves an alternate thread into this fabric of symbolism. 
According to his thought-provoking theory, the Ark of the Covenant defies being lost. Instead, it embarks on a mysterious journey. Spirited away from Solomon's temple in Jerusalem, it seeks sanctuary in Ethiopia prior to the Babylonian invasion. Hancock's hypothesis intricately intertwines historical research, analysis of religious texts, and cultural narratives. His focus zooms in on Ethiopia's rich Christian tradition. Within his gripping storytelling, he uncovers the possibility that the Ark might find its abode to this day within a modest chapel in the remote town of Aksum, nestled in northern Ethiopia. Guarded vigilantly by a solitary monk, this revered artifact remains secluded within the chapel's sacred confines. It eludes the prying eyes of the world, veiled by its secrecy. While Hancock's claims lack concrete validation due to stringent access restrictions, the fervent belief in the Ark's presence resonates powerfully among the devoted locals. Beyond its biblical portrayal, the essence of what the Ark of the Covenant represents unfurls into a captivating exploration touching the hearts and minds of those who delve into its mysteries. Number 5. The City of Robert Ballard The captivating world of ocean exploration, as led by Robert Ballard, a visionary explorer who unveiled the secrets of the Titanic wreck back in 1985. Ballard, a true pioneer, has shared his belief that even esteemed scholars and Nobel Prize winners have approached Plato's enigmatic accounts of Atlantis with a raised eyebrow. While the existence of Atlantis remains a mysterious realm, our gaze shifts to the undeniable evidence of ancient civilizations that once thrived in the Saharan expanse. The Sahara as a treasure chest of history, revealing its untold tales. Archaeological endeavors in this vast desert have been nothing short of extraordinary. These explorations have been nothing short of enlightening, rewiring our understanding of those societies that once thrived in the Saharan embrace. Imagine the sands themselves as an artist's canvas, showcasing the grandeur of ancient cultures. Satellite technology has acted as a wizard's wand, revealing buried treasures concealed deep within Libya's rugged terrains. Here, within the heart of the harsh Sahara, traces of the Garamante civilization emerge from the shadows. These people, long thought lost to history, constructed imposing forts and settlements that stand resilient against time's erosion their legacy spanning millennia. These high-resolution images, much like those employed by the oil industry, reveal the lines of their once majestic world. Aerial snapshots from the mid-20th century further paint this intricate picture of a civilization that history nearly left behind. Early 2011, an expedition set out to uncover more secrets hidden beneath the sands. Pottery samples collected from this journey spoke of ancient echoes, affirming the presence of fortified sites huddled some 620 miles south of Tripoli. The expedition was cut short by a storm of modern history, the Libyan civil war that toppled Muammar Gaddafi's 42-year reign. Against the backdrop of shifting dunes, evidence emerges like fossils, hinting at a once mighty African kingdom that ruled beneath the surface of the Sahara. The sands, while ever-changing, harbor stories etched into their very essence, Number 4. Temple of Luxor Stonehenge These magnificent structures, standing proudly, are like ancient messages etched in stone, testifying to a profound understanding of sacred geometry. Hancock's theories act as a spark of curiosity, igniting our minds as he suggests that the intricate alignments, portions, and geometric wonders within these sites challenge the usual historical viewpoints. It's almost as if the architects and artists of these ancient civilizations possessed a hidden wisdom passed down through ages, unveiling a tapestry of consciousness and spiritual growth woven into their very creations. Yet, the secret geometry goes beyond being just an architectural marvel. It's a doorway into a forgotten world. Hancock spins an enthralling narrative, proposing the existence of an advanced civilization that once graced our planet. This civilization, as he speculates, might have birthed the sacred knowledge that we witness today, nurturing it within our myths, symbols, and intricate architectural designs. But there's more to this captivating tale. Hancock suggests that the sacred geometry holds not just historical significance, but also a transformative power, a key to unlocking altered states of consciousness and spiritual revelations. According to Hancock, the Egyptian pyramids, 
especially the magnificent Great Pyramid of Giza, rewrite the conventional timeline. He proposes that these structures are much older than historians suggest. In fact, he believes that the Egyptians of the 4th dynasty in 2600 BC couldn't possibly have constructed the Great Pyramid, considering its intricate precision and celestial alignments. Thus, Hancock argues that the remarkable feats demonstrated by these pyramids demand a level of knowledge and technology far beyond what ancient Egyptians could have possessed. But the revelations don't stop there. Hancock reveals an even more astonishing proposition. The design, construction, and geographical orientation of the pyramids indicate the existence of a highly advanced civilization predating the Egyptians by millennia. And here's where the shock factor intensifies. The Great Pyramid of Giza guards a cosmic secret, positioned meticulously at the heart of its structure. It's as if we're peering through a portal into a realm where history, science, and spirituality converge in ways that challenge our very understanding of the past. Number 3. Lost Golden City The captivating tale of the Lost Golden City, hidden amidst the shifting sands of Egypt's vast expanse. Situated just beyond Luxor, nestled within the enigmatic Valley of the Kings, this extraordinary discovery has been heralded as Egypt's most remarkable historical gem. Dating back three millennia to the reign of mighty pharaohs, the expedition to unveil this treasure trove embarked in September 2020. Amidst the temples of Ramses III and Amenhotep III, a gradual revelation unfolded over weeks, as mud-brick formations emerged from their ancient slumber. The city's well-preserved visage emerged, its walls standing steadfast, and its chambers echoing with the whispers of bygone days, where artisans plied their tools and the rhythms of life flowed. Seven months of tireless excavation unearthed a myriad of fragments, piecing together a tapestry of yesteryears, from the bustling aroma of a bakery with ovens and earthenware pots to the echoes of homes and administrative spaces, the city's essence materialized. The research team jubilantly announced their awe-inspiring find, a sprawling cityscape spanning three majestic millennia. The city's origins trace back to Amenhotep III's rule, spanning through Tutankhamun's era and beyond, offering a panoramic glimpse into a once-thriving civilization. This revelation stands monumental, rivaling the awe that accompanied the discovery of Tutankhamun's tomb a century before. Amidst the troves of antiquities lie ornate jewelry, vividly hued pottery, and the protective embrace of scarab beetle amulets. Among these riches, mud bricks inscribed with Amenhotep III's seals resurface, invoking a connection to a ruler whose dominion stretched from Iraq to Sudan. Yet the lost city holds more secrets in its enigmatic heart. The possibility of undiscovered tombs, harboring treasures untold, tantalizes explorers' imaginations. Indeed, some tombs have already been uncovered, reminiscent of those within the fabled Valley of the Kings. Number 2. Book of Supernatural Meetings In a mystical book filled with ancient tales, we are guided by the wisdom of past mentors on a captivating journey through time. Our guide, named Gog, takes us on a mesmerizing expedition into the world of prehistoric art, revealing enigmatic cave paintings that have bewildered researchers for ages. These artworks unveil a theme that holds our curiosity captive, the portrayal of extraordinary beings, not ordinary by any means. These beings, known as Therianthropes, are enthralling hybrids merging human and animal traits, a recurrent sight in ancient art spanning the globe. Hancock, the intrepid explorer, delves even deeper, daring to suggest that these Therianthropes might not just symbolize but embody real encounters with beings from beyond possibly even originating from otherworldly realms or faraway planets. The question arises, how could our ancient ancestors have interacted with such beings? Hancock presents a mind-bending proposition, proposing that altered states of consciousness, facilitated by the use of mind-altering substances, were the key. In diverse cultures, psychoactive plants with their potent properties played a significant role in shamanic rituals. Hancock paints a vivid picture of how these rituals might have opened doorways for our forebears, enabling them to peer into dimensions beyond our reality. But the tale doesn't stop there. Hancock weaves a fascinating narrative, speculating that these supernatural entities might have functioned as teachers, 
imparting wisdom and knowledge that sparked an intellectual fire within the hearts of our ancestors. Number 1. The Marvelous Egyptian Pyramids The Marvelous Egyptian Pyramids are a mystery that even experts today find hard to explain. The precision behind their construction is like a puzzle that continues to bewilder scientists and archaeologists alike. Likewise, the American Indians were astonished with their deep comprehension of the stars and the dance of celestial bodies. Hancock believes this wisdom goes beyond what a straight path of human thinking could achieve. But then comes Hancock's groundbreaking book, where he delves into ancient human encounters of a supernatural kind. He spins a mind-boggling idea that our ancestors might have ascended to these incredible heights of understanding through altered states of consciousness brought about by consuming plants that play with the mind's borders. Think of it like embarking on a cosmic escapade powered by nature's own forces. Hancock points to captivating parallels that emerge in ancient art across various cultures. These similarities give a hint of something peculiar, something out of the norm. For example, figures half-human and half-animal, known as Therianthropes, and tales of gods descending from the heavens. These recurring themes suggest something extraordinary is afoot, perhaps remnants of encounters with beings not of this world, perhaps even from distant stars. Could these myths of gods not just be inventions of our minds, but instead, beings from the universe guiding our growth in ways that escape our full grasp? Going beyond what traditional archaeology teaches, Hancock encourages us to rethink history. He urges us to ponder if our ancestral stories of divine interventions could hold grains of truth. While his ideas might invite doubt and skepticism, they undeniably light the fire of curiosity, sparking questions that urge us to challenge the accepted norms. They beckon us to explore the territories of myth, mind-altering substances, and phenomena beyond the natural. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.